In this lecture, you will learn how to launch Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Microsoft Edge, and Phantom JS using CLNM in CSharp.net. So let us dive into Visual Studio. And over there, I have got this launch browser.cs class, and that I have created these methods, test methods to launch each browser. So first method is uh, to launch the Chrome. And for that, what I've done is taken this interface, iWeb driver, and then declared the uh, variable of the type. And over there, what I have done is pointed that variable to the object created by this particular class, that is new Chrome driver. And over there, I have given this path, which is actually nothing but the path uh, where my Chrome driver dot exe file is available and then i am navigating to this url using dot navigate method and url property so that is how uh, you can launch the chrome browser in the say using cell name in cshop.net and note that you will have to use these namespaces for working with chrome you will need this open qa.selenium.chrome similarly for each browser they have got different namespaces like ie firefox safari each phantom js so the code remains same now for each browser only thing that changes is this particular code where we instantiate the driver of the specific browser for example uh, to launch the chrome we have got chrome driver file to launch internet explorer we have got internet explorer driver like that you can ignore this at this point of time so internet explorer driver and again i given the path here that internet explorer driver dot ex is available Similarly, I have got Firefox and Firefox driver is used and note that for Firefox we need that uh, Gecko driver.exe file uh, it should be in the system path variable So if you go to this particular environment variables of the system in that they will find path variable and then if you edit that you need to uh, main, uh, ensure that that gecko drivers path is added over there as you can see this gecko driver path is added that's why firefox test will fail uh, sorry pass and for safari you need the extension to be installed in that uh, safari browser itself so once that in extension is installed you can launch the safari browser using the syntax and to launch the edge you need this new edge driver and additionally you also need that microsoft uh, edge web driver that exe file in the path variable just like firefox and for phantom js all you need to do is all you need uh, to do is use this syntax new five uh, phantom js driver and also for phantom js there is one exe file or uh, this driver exe file so that file needs to be in the path variable just like for the asian firefox so once you have got all these settings you can go ahead and execute those te tests so what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this chrome then what will happen is it will start the chrome browser and then navigate to softforce.org and then I'm going to show you Internet Explorer and Phantom JS. So for Chrome Firefox, I you can see that browser is getting launched and you can view the execution happening on the system. But uh, in the headless execution, you don't see anything. And then Phantom JS is used for that. In Phantom JS, what happens is that it is launched in the background. So you can't see any. GUI of the browser but test do execute so I'm just gonna execute one phantom JS test so this time around uh, you will not see any browser getting launched all the operations happen behind as you can see the test execution is finished and it has printed the title but you can didn't see any execution happening but it happened uh, all happened in, in the background so to launch the firefox you can use this particular test test firefox and similarly you can also execute ie and age as well 
for internet explorer and ensure that protected mode settings are enabled for all the zones so i will show you what that settings are after this execution finishes okay so before i start internet explorer make sure that in internet explorer some settings are done properly so you have to put internet options and then in the security uh, this make sure that for all these zones four zones this this is checked or unchecked so i generally check these check boxes for all the zones and if any of the check boxes unticked internet explorer uh, will not be launched so i'm gonna launch the internet explorer and then age as well all right so now i'm gonna start the age test cool so that's how you can launch various browsers using selenium in cshop.net i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures so before i uh, wind up let me explain you one thing that i did like in earlier lectures we have seen that uh, i had added these references for the web driver but uh, the references that i had, uh, added are for the version 3.1.0 uh, but before I started the execution, I had downgraded the versions of the web driver. So as you can see over here, even though the latest version is 3.1.0, I have I'm using 3.0.1 because uh, the 3.1.0, this latest version is not compatible with the Firefox, and that's why I have downgraded it to the 3.0.1. Otherwise, uh, Firefox automation will not work. So that thing you need to do and that ends our lecture number five that is launching browsers. In this lecture uh, we have seen how to launch the Chrome, IE, Firefox, Safari, Microsoft Edge and Fanbase using selenium in cshop.net. Thank you.